What's up, man? So here is my review on the TRX4M, the High Trail Red Edition. Bone stock out of the box. Um, I came up to Georgia for a wedding from a cousin. And while I was here, I stopped at a hobby shop. Just happened to cross, cross by one. Just, it was just, it was dumb luck. So, I'm kidding. We searched far and wide. We did two hours of driving and went to two different hobby shops just to see what's up. Because every time I go somewhere, I stop at the hobby shops. So, what's that? <laughs> so, here she is. This is the TRX 4M, um, the High Trail Edition. This is the Cheyenne. 10 so in the red obviously um everything's bone stock on it straight out of the box got it in the car in the parking lot of the hobby shop tore the box open tore the car out it did come with a nice cover which is beautiful took my time on peeling that i always love to do that but anyways here's my basic review on this truck so, um, I was expecting a little more weight to the vehicle, um, especially being a Traxxas. I was, you know, just expecting it to be a little bit heavier. Um, this is considered, what, a 1 18th scale, I assume. It's not that it's, it's bigger than the 24. Uh, it's bigger than the Traxxas 24s. Um, it's much bigger than the uh, the Axial SCX24. It's about the same line as the uh, the FMS uh, 118 scales. I have the the FMS the the six wheel FMS and the um, the FMS the blue C10 truck. It's like this, but it's in blue. It's uh, and a little more scale than this one is. But a couple of things out of the box that I noticed <clears throat> was it comes preset and with the ESC in setting two, which is the not the crawler mode. The setting two is here's the charging stuff. So on page 10 of your information packet, Setting two is trail mode, and that's the default factory setting, and I don't like that at all. For one, it gives you throttle and reverse, but if you're in forward and you wanna go to reverse, you have to hit the brake, come to neutral, and then go into reverse, which is retarded, I hate that. Um, so I switched it over, and I also noticed that you know, even driving it in medium grass, not even like tall grass, and grass that was lower than the bumper of the truck, it would come to areas and it would bind up and it would just stop. It wouldn't, you know, you couldn't throttle through it. It would come and it would reach resistance and then it would just stop. It would stop moving. Um, you have to let off the throttle and then get back into the throttle. Um, by then, you're already twisted up. You don't have enough momentum and inertia to blow through whatever it was you're stuck on. So I switched it over to crawl mode, which is setting three. So if you look on page 10 of the manual, setting three, and it's very easy to do, just follow the instructions. With the unit powered on, you can see the light. So when your unit, you turn on your radio, turn on the car, or plug the, there is no on, so you just plug the battery in. Once the battery's plugged in, you press and you hold your set button, which is, what do they call it? The, I guess it's called easy set, whatever. You press and you hold that. It's gonna blink once, that's for setting one, twice for setting two, crawl mode, three times for setting, or trail mode, three times for crawl mode, and then you just let off. So whatever setting, after it blinks, if it blinks, once for sport mode, which allows full throttle reverse and braking power. Um, if you want setting one, if it blinks once, let off. I wanted setting three, so I waited till it blinked three times, let off, 
and I just went and drove the truck and it was much better. Um, you have your forward, reverse, there's a little bit of a drag brake there. Um, and it performed a lot better and it had full power the whole time. So if it came to an area where it would, I'll just tilt the camera down here, comes to an area like my arm here where it reaches resistance instead of stopping you can just go ahead and get it throttle and it's not going to dig in and even if you put so you put some power down on it and it wants to keep going it will if it bogs down enough it still kind of does it so but it wasn't doing it as bad as setting two. Setting three is much better. Um, honestly, I still prefer the SCX24 to, I prefer really anything uh, outside of Traxxas. I'm not a huge Traxxas fan. It only comes with the headlights. It doesn't come with the taillights installed but you can buy the taillight package it's pretty cheap i think it's like 10 15 dollars another nice thing is that you've got these little clips right here so if you see that clip you bend it back and there's one on the ass end of the truck you bend that back body pops right off that's i like that i like the fact that we're getting away from body clips i hate body clips because i don't have a problem with them but my kids have a full-time job of losing them. It's, I think that's what they like to do the most out of everything is just take a body clip off and just fucking throw it. Um, so this truck, very easy. Two clips, body comes off, put it down, kind of you line it up with the front and the rear bumper and you literally just push the body on and it's on there. I, you know, I'm in Georgia, there's some hills and stuff. Um, so, I mean, it, then it went tumbling down the hills and the body didn't come off. That's cool. I really like that. Good job, Traxxas. Again, there's not a whole lot of weight to the truck. Uh, the hobby shop that I got these from, they only had wheel weights, the brass uh, inner. Um, and it looks like you can slip these off. These look like they're two-piece. Once you take the wheel nut off, I think the rim will pop apart. Um, cause you can, uh, I'll tell you right now, they look like they might be two piece cause you can just peel the rim, the tire right off the rim. They're vented tires, uh, which are okay. I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of that for one, because I drive through a lot of water and I collect water, but there's no, there's no foam in these tires. I don't think. No, there's no foam. They're just full of water. <laughs> um, what else was it? What else was it? So the light kit. You can buy a light kit. Um, it it looks like you can put the lights inside the light buckets up top. They look like they'll accept lights. Uh, the only light kit I saw available at the hobby shop. Oh, another thing. It's got this nice ball and hitch, drop down hitch that you can install. It's pretty cool. It didn't really hinder the performance at all. If it gets caught up, it was able to pull itself off of it. It wasn't really a big deal. Wing mirrors seem to be pretty strong. I haven't broken one off yet. Again, I only have maybe an hour of crawling time on this. Um, but I did, I just sent it down, sent it down a lot of hills, tumbling. Uh, and nothing broke off. It's still in one piece. It's got a little torque twist to it, and I noticed that out of the box they put on on the passenger rear passenger rear shock or strut. They put on a clip, a spring clip, and that's the only one that comes. It comes with four spring clips in the bag, and then there's one on the truck. So the truck comes with five spring clips. They use one out of the factory. I think they kind of did that on the right rear, obviously, to kind of maybe absorb some of that torque. Yeah, because it wants to go to the right. So they put it on the right rear. Yeah, kind of torque twist to the right. So I think they did that to kind of 
uh, absorb some of that torque twist and get it out of there. Maybe with that off, it'll it'll really roll and twist the body around. Um, lights. So you can put lights. They sell the kits. You can put them in there. And this ESC has the Pro Scale lighting. So I'll just read the thing. Your new Traxxas model is enabled with Pro Scale lighting features such as headlights, reverse lights, and brake lights. So that's pretty cool. If you reverse, I guess it's just going to light up red because there's not a there's no area in there. The bucket only looks like it holds one light. Yeah, the bucket only holds one light. But the lens is red anyways, so it's got reverse, so brake, you hit the brakes, the lights come on. Maybe they come on brighter. And then also with reverse, they come on brighter. And they didn't say anything about the lighting for these, the, the roll bar, the rack lighting up here. There's only two spots for lights on your ESC. You can see the cable coming from the lights off the body to the ESC. There's one more available spot there. Um, and I guess that's for your brake lights. How to set that, I don't know. Texas Pro Gear Lighting Pits and Parts is available. <coughs> Maybe you've got to get a separate lighting module from Traxxas. I don't know, you know how Traxxas is. The wiring for the lights is definitely an upgrade from what I've seen Traxxas wire their lights with before. This wire is, has a hard sheath on it. Um, some of the other lights that I've seen from Traxxas I mean, it's like dental floss. You can just pull it apart, you know, and it's bad, 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 bad stuff. But this seems to be okay. You know, out of the box, I think the truck was like 150 bucks or something like that. <sighs> um, and it was fun. I bought it for while we were up here to do a little bit of trailing around the hotel, this little cottage thing that we're in. It worked well. It was a lot of fun. I'm going to have fun with it back home. Another nice thing is a 118 scale looks really good sitting next to my 110th or there I guess a 114 scale semi trucks. Um, yeah, the the one the semis are 114th from Tamiya, and this will look really good next to it. That's another reason why I got those FMS trucks because they look scale sitting next to that semi rig. This will too. Um, it's obviously it's faster than the SCX24. That's another cool thing. The 24s are slow, but um, with the ease of mod, I don't know how these differentials are set up. I assume they're a worm gear design, but you can open them. It doesn't. They're not portals. They're straight axles. <clears throat> they got hubs. It comes with bearings everywhere. That's another cool thing. It's got bearings in the diff, wheel bearings in the hubs, right? Yeah, wheel bearings in the hubs. That's kind of cool. Um, the Traxxas steering servo seems to be pretty smooth, pretty reactive, and there's not a whole lot of play. There's like no zero wobble and play in any of these bearings which is nice, or the linkage. And the linkage is kind of unique. It's got, let me turn that off. Turn the lights off. Steering linkage is unique because the servo is right dead center inside the for the steering link. Um, and I'm not sure if there's any upgrades other than there's a stronger brushed motor you can buy for it. I saw that on the shelf. I think there's a brushless system that you can put in this. Um, maybe even an adapter for the Fury Tech. Uh, brushless Outrunners, which are really nice. This might be a little bit too much truck for that Fury Tech system. Anyways, oh, nice LiPo battery. Um, decent battery, which I'm really excited to see. This is a 20C two cell 750 milliamp. Um, really easy battery install. It's got the strap and a little hook. 
there. Um, I'm gonna take this big goofy warning sticker off of there. But um, ran it underwater, completely underwater. It kept going. Um, I'm, I'm, I was skeptical because uh, I, I have had bad luck with all of Trax's stuff in water. It does say running in wet conditions. Electronic components are waterproof to allow driving in wet conditions after running thoroughly clean and dry the model. Lubricate and protect bearings and metal hardware uh, to prevent rust and corrosion. Blah, blah, blah. But it, it went underwater and it kept on going. And it stayed wet. I, I didn't even... Um, no, yeah, I unplugged the battery when I put it away. That's pretty much it. I, I know there's probably going to be a bunch of scale stuff. I don't know if Yeah Racing or Hot Racing is going to make anything for this. I'm sure they will. Um, I'm sure there's already um, files if you want to print anything for it. Um, I haven't run this battery flat yet, so I don't even know the runtime of the battery. It comes with your basic Traxxas TQ controller. Uh, with just your your steering servo adjustment, um, it's pretty much it, man. Is it worth it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I wish Axial would come out with something this size because I know it would blow this out of the water. Um, I'm probably gonna wind up putting different electronics on it and get it off of this. I hate these. And then I probably might put some aluminum wheels and wheel weights on it. Maybe some aluminum or some heavier links. All Everything is plastic. Shafts are plastic. They look like the shafts are rebuildable really easy though. They have the rubber band that holds the pin. So you pop that rubber band off and then the pin will come out and you can pull the dog bone or that joint, that universal joint apart pretty easy and replace that. But I haven't spun a shaft yet. Gotten it all twisted up. I don't know. It is what it is, man. Um, tell me what you think. Uh, I know that I'm going to bring it home and my boys are going to beat the living crap out of it. And uh, we'll find some weak parts on it. We're going to break it. Well, no. Well, it's going to break. It's a Traxxas. So, yeah. Later. Keep on rocking.